Okay, the next question has to do with a, a Ford specific dealer kit. The Ford dealer, uh, sometimes you'll read uh, that there's a specific kit that Ford recommends and that kit is the lock and stitch. Uh, reading the question from the customer, he says, I've seen online that Ford uses a kit called lock and stitch. And he asked, what do you think about this repair system? Um, you know, it's probably not a bad system, uh, to be honest. Uh, the lock and stitch, though, is overpriced, in my opinion. Um, I, I've heard that these kits run seven or eight hundred dollars. You might be able to find them used uh, and, and find them for less money, but still, that's that's a lot of money to pay for this kit. Uh, they also they use aluminum inserts when when repairing an aluminum head. And the idea is that it's got the uh, the similar qualities for heating and expansion, uh, and it's not going to give problems that way. And I understand the theory, um, but we we have steel alloy inserts in our kits that share enough of the same qualities that um, there's no thermal expansion uh, problem or detonation problem that you may read about. Um, so. Anyways, uh, our inserts are, since they are steel alloy, they're stronger than the aluminum. You want stronger threads than it had originally, so it only makes sense that you'd go with the steel alloy rather than going back with the aluminum uh, threads like it had originally that failed. Uh, also, another thing is the, uh, the lock and stitch uses a separate steel pin. Uh, they have you, like, drill beside the insert. Um, between the head and the insert and, and insert a pin that locks it in keeps it from uh, backing back out um, that seems like a kind of an extreme locking measure uh, I don't I don't particularly like that uh, it's another step it's more difficult to use because of that and um, say with the uh, with our kits they they don't have a problem with the inserts backing out ours are permanent repairs um, the Calvin has like a shoulder on the top of their insert and it tightens down similar to is like a bolt would um, so that bottoms out and locks into place um, with the Big Cert kit Big Cert does use a pin also but it uses a tiny little uh, pin that's embedded in the side of the insert and um, the installation driver expands the bottom of the insert locking the bottom into place it also pushes out on that pin and uh, it locks it in that way there's no extra step uh, dealing with this pin uh, you may not even know it's there unless you've read or heard me talk about it uh, but that is an extra feature of that insert that helps it lock into place that doesn't doesn't cause any any more difficulty in the installation so for that reason, uh, I, I think that the lock and stitch is uh, probably overpriced. Doesn't use the best uh, material for the insert that I'd want to use. And um, with that pin, it's just an extra step and uh, possibly another source for the compression to leak out. I don't know. Uh, just don't like that. I I'm partial to our kits, obviously, but. Um, I, I do know that the uh, the track record of our kits as well because uh, we've been selling these kits since 2005 so I get a lot of feedback.